In this video, we are going to see about fourth standard social science term two. Philanthropist of Sangam age. Let's learn what is philanthropy. People who have been a volunteer, a charity, with helping mind, giving awareness and services, support, donations, and respect to togetherness. Let us know about philanthropists. Philanthropist is a person who donates time, money, experience, skills, or talent to help create a better world. Anyone can be a philanthropist, regardless of a status or a net worth. In Sangam ages. There are lots of philanthropists. Few of them are Pehen, Pari, Adiyaman, Valvilori, and Nedumudi Kari. Sangam Literature Sangam Literature is consisting of several classical poetry and it is the main source of evidence of the Sangam age. Pehen Pehen is one of the greatest leaders among the Kadayeju Valal girls. He was the lord and a contemporary of a poet Paranar and was known for his lavish gifts and kindness. Pehen ruled a hilly region in the Palani Hills. While Pehen was on his walk one day, he saw a peacock shivering. He assumed that the peacock was shivering due to cold and he took off his shawl and covered the peacock with it. The point is that Pehen treated a wild peacock just like his own child. How many people today show such kindness towards animals? It is not just kindness towards our trees and animals. It is also about valuing people. So we should treat all living things equally. Among the seven Kadayelu Vadalgal, today we will see about the philanthropist Pari. King Pari is famous among the Sangam age rulers. Okay, the next story is nearly about 2000 years old about the king and the kind philanthropist Pari who ruled more than 300 villages known together as Parambunadu. The Parambanadu is located in a hill range where it starts from the Sivangangi districts in Tamil Nadu and it is extended till the way to Palakkad in Kerala. Muvendarkal wanted to make the Parambanadu as part of their kingdom. They were not able to win the battle against Pari. So they attacked Parambanadu together. In the hills and inside forest, they could not defeat Pari army and they made sure that the people in Parambanadu, they could not get food or water. They thought that once Pari will get surrendered when he ran for water or food down the hill. How long the people can be without food and water? Maybe three to four days, but Pari never surrendered and the war continued for many days. The Movendarkal realized that the forest in Parambanadu had evidence of jackfruit 
and wild nuts for their food and living the forest in the parambanadu take care of the people in the hills there is an interesting story apart from this about king pari one day king pari was crossing a young mullai creeper he saw there is no tall tree to help the creeper to grow so king pari gave his golden chariot for the mullai creeper to grow higher as a kindness of heart he gave his golden chariot for a mullai creeper plant that's why we call these kings as vallalgal philanthropist adiyaman adiyaman was a royal king of kongu tamil dynasty adiyaman ruled during the 3rd century rajaraja devan alais adiyaman of tagadur ruled during the movendargals period adiyaman There was another philanthropist called Adiyaman. He also ruled the same hilly region in Dharmapuri district. As one day he was presented with a very rare variety of gooseberry. Gooseberry means amla. We used to call nellikai in Tamil. He was told that anyone who eats this rare fruit would have a long and healthy life. As the people who have this rare fruit will have an healthy and long life do you know what he did with that gooseberry yes he have offered this particular gooseberry to an old tamil poetess avayar by receiving this gooseberry avayar was shocked and asked adiyaman king why you are offering this fruit to me and avayar said adiyaman that you have to eat the fruit as you are a king but adiyaman told the poet is avayar that there could be many kings after him but there would not be many poets to teach people how to live philanthropist valvil ori valvil ori is one of the philanthropist that is kadayelu vallalgal in the sangam age valuing people does not always mean that we have to give gifts we can also value people by treating them fairly that is by helping them whenever they are in need The next philanthropist we are going to see is Valvil Ori. King Valvil Ori ruled the hilly region in Kolli Hills. As many years ago, people based on their work they did, they were treated unfairly. Unfairly means that is not in a good manner. Only a few philanthropists like Valvil Ori made sure that This unfair practice is not encouraged in his region that is he never encouraged people by discouraging based on their work he treated all the people equally not only based on his work valvil ori is one of the greatest archers in the country that i have ever seen in the 200 bc because he treated all the people equally He was defeated by the king Kari of the beautiful spear who 
then gave the kolli hills to the cheras and later the king kari himself was killed by the chola king killi valavan king valvil ori loved music and dance ori swift house was also named as ori his father was known as udan maybe he is a reason for one paranar addresses him as an adan ori malai ani kundrathu kilavan naalum ijayani yane irapporku iyum sudarvidu pasum poon soorpu amai munkai aadupor aana aadan ori and this poet was written for the king valvil ori by the poet one paranar in purana nooru the song 150 The poet Nallur Nathadanar has wrote about Valvil Ori in his poet Sirupanathu Padai. Nalisinai Narumbodu Kalanjiya Nagu Mudir Nagathu Kurumborai Nalnadu Kodiyarkku Eindha Kari Kudirai Kariyodu Malaindha Ori Kudirai Oriyum. The king Valvil Ori is famously known as Marivan Kodai as he ruled the Kolli hills which is decorated by clouds. The king Valvil Ori is also famously known for his archery skills. The name Valvil Ori gives a meaning as a great skill in archery. The poet Van Paranar at the Sangam age has written about the valvil ori's archery skills in purana nooru poem the line 158 ori shot an arrow from his bow the arrow stuck down the elephant further it went and killed a tiger drop a spotted tag sent a boar and embedded in an iguna in the nearby deep pool as it shows the deep archery skills of valvil ori philanthropist nedumudi kari king nedumudi kari ruled the hilly region of tondai mandalam at tirukovilur king nedumudi was an early chola king who lived during the selapadigaram period within the few years he became a king later the pandian king and the chera king attacked the chola land king nedumudi is famously known for his kindness towards the people philanthropist i the king i kandiran received a glowing cloth from a good snake which he gave to lord shiva by showing his character of kindness philanthropist nalli king nalli is also called as nalli malai nandan he ruled the region totte malai under the chera king king nalli also helped people who came to him in the forest without having any true identity this shows the kindness of king nalli towards the people without any expectations